football supporters have marched to the Orlando Stadium in Soweto today. This as the country marks uh, the Soweto derby between football giants, Orlando Pirates and Kaiser Chiefs. And scores of football fans are calling for stadiums to be opened to fans. We cross on over to Soweto. That's where we find Newsroom Africa's Kakeho Lehodi with the latest on this situation at this hour. When we last spoke, a memorandum was to be handed over to whom and have they received it? Well, Dudu, it's still a waiting game here on the ground. Soweto is a hive of activity, especially around here at Orlando Stadium, where uh, soccer fans have gathered in their numbers here to just, you know, more or less uh, air out their grievances where the issue of, uh, you know, spectators uh, visiting stadiums is concerned. Uh, they're saying that most of them have, you know, been longing to, you know, to watch uh, live games. And they're saying that with COVID-19 uh, restrictions and regulations eased in some quotas, they're hoping that this uh, will also be the same uh, for the, soccer, the, the sporting fraternity soccer. Uh, in particular, they marched uh, earlier on uh, to Orlando Stadium. This is where, of course, we're expecting that an official from the PSL would be, you know, bracing us with, it, with uh, his presence uh, this afternoon to receive the memorandum. Uh, uh, the football supporters are just getting agitated uh, on the ground. Here, police uh, had to use rubber bullets uh, earlier on, uh, uh, or um, must I say, uh, 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 stun grenades, that's what they, they told us, uh, that they basically had to use this uh, to control the crowd here on the ground. Most of the crowd getting agitated. At the fact that most of these uh, 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 officials are from PSL are not coming forward uh, to accept their memorandum of demands. The police out in their numbers as well, not taking any chances. As you can imagine, that the derby is going to uh, get underway at 3.30 here on the ground. Earlier on, we saw the buses uh, from uh, Kaiser Chiefs uh, uh, players and uh, that of Orlando Pirates uh, are just, you know, entering the stadium. Uh, too much uh, a fanfare from those supporters here outside that are pushing, you know, to strive by all means uh, to get their message across in terms of just giving officials that sign. But they are tired, uh, you know, of waiting for restrictions to be eased. And they are hoping that at least this time around the demonstrations on the ground that are taking place today, uh, you know, it forms part of uh, ongoing demonstrations that they say they've been staging demo demonstrations as early as last year. Uh, you know, trying to push for the industry to open. The police not taking any chances on the ground, saying that they are not going to let, uh, you know, those fans to get inside the stadium because you can imagine that, of course, the, the re regulations, uh, lockdown restrictions and regulations are still in place uh, where sporting uh, soccer uh, fans are, uh, you know, are concerned. And they're saying that, uh, you know, they're not going to take any chances as they wait uh, for an official from PSL uh, to come through. Uh, most of them just slamming the, uh, you know, fans here on the ground, just slamming the uh, Arts and Culture Minister, saying that he has not uh, taken their plight into consideration. This organization, the National uh, Footballers uh, 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 Fans uh, Association on the ground, are just saying that they have written to the minister, they have written to the office uh, of, of Minister Natim Tetua, and they're saying that they haven't gotten any joy from the minister, saying that uh, they saw it fit for them to come through uh, today on this all-important day for the derby to come and uh, demonstrate here on the ground. And we still are waiting to see if an official from uh, the PSL would come through to get uh, that memorandum. But uh, officials are from uh, conveners of the march are saying that if the memorandum is not hand-delivered uh, to one of the officials here on the ground today, they're going to be taking it upon themselves to visit the offices of uh, the PSL and SAFA uh, to ensure that at least uh, they are actually heard and their voices are ventilated as they push uh, for stadiums to be open at least uh, at 50 percent of capacity uh, for those fans that have gathered here today. What time does the game get underway and of what impact or significance uh, will this protest action have on the game getting underway? If you can hear me, what time are we expecting the game to get underway and of what significance uh, will this protest action have on uh, the game getting underway?
the game is expected to get underway at 3.30, Juju, uh, and of course, uh, most of those fans are saying that, uh, you know, uh, they saw it fit for them to come here on the ground and, and demonstrate in a, in a pushback against the government and those regulations, uh, you know, set, uh, 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 you know, in place uh, where soccer is concerned. And them saying that, you know, for them it's not to disrupt the derby that is set to take place here, but they just want the minister and the officials from SAPA and from PSL to just take their plight into consideration. Of course, uh, the buses have uh, gone inside. Uh, uh, the players are from Chiefs and uh, Orlando Pirates are already on the ground. They are uh, training right now uh, ahead of that all-important game. It's starting to drizzle uh, in Soweto at this point in time, but it seems that uh, even this drizzle is not going to deter those that are here on the ground as they demonstrate and wait for an official to accept their memorandum of demand. Uh, saying that, of course, hopefully by the next time when the job is taking place, uh, with this demonstration that is happening here, uh, it, it will push uh, for them to be uh, in stadiums uh, next time when the Dabi, the Soweto Dabi, uh, take place. But most of them, uh, I guess, they'll be going back to their homes in the afternoon uh, to just get glued to their screens and watch the game, as, of course, those uh, lockdown regulations are still in place. Uh, but I think that the message is clear, uh, that they are tired and they are fed up, uh, and they want, uh, you know, someone to take their flight into consideration, especially where the live games are concerned. I'm hoping uh, that at least there will be uh, fruitful, you know, conversations that will be had uh, with PSL, SAFA, and the Department of uh, Sports, Art, and Culture that would make sure that at least uh, the, the games are open uh, and the stadiums are open, rather, uh, for those spectators that would want uh, to, to raise their presence here at the stadiums. And at least they are pushing for 50%, as we've been saying, that they're not asking for much. They're asking for 50% of them to be allowed in uh, to the stadium. Also, most of them mentioning the fact that uh, local businesses have taken a lot. Those that benefit from, uh, you know, selling uh, 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 tickets, uh, those that benefit from uh, selling food and uh, uh, beverages around the stadium uh, during derbies and games, uh, they're saying that the local economy is also taking a lot. So they're hoping that uh, at least that memorandum that will be delivered would highlight uh, all of their challenges on the ground and their concerns, and they will push uh, to see uh, that at least uh, someone, uh, you know, from the office of the Minister uh, of Sports and Culture or SAFA or even PSL, uh, you know, help push uh, for those restrictions to be eased. Katleho Lirori, it would seem come rain or shine, soccer fans want to return to stadium. Thank you very much for that update.